Welcome to Medico Apps BDS Express. In today's masterclass, we'll be revising one of the very high yield topic and that topic, it is important for your oral pathology and oral medicine as well. Now, what is this? So today we'll be discussing Nikolsky sign. Now, what is Nikolsky sign? So first of all, short note can be asked on this. And secondly, this is highly important topic in your oral pathology viva as well as for your oral medicine viva, right? Now, what is Nikolsky sign? Now, first of all, this sign it was given by Piotr Vesilevich Nikolsky. Though they don't generally ask this question that who has given, but at times they can ask. So you should know that this is given uh, on the name of the scientist only who discovered this, right? Or you can say who described this. Now, what exactly is Nikolsky sign? Now, here in this image, you can see that this clinician is applying the tangential pressure around the lesion. So you can see the lesion and what is he doing? He is applying the tangential pressure. So, Nicole's key sign says that when you apply the tangential pressure to an apparently normal skin, then what will happen? The uh, layer, it tend to slip off and there you can see a new lesion. So, this is Nicole's key sign. So, again, I am repeating, whenever you apply the tangential pressure on the normal apparent area of the lesion, what will happen? Skin tends to slip off from the base and then you can see the eruption of a new lesion. That means it results in the formation of a new lesion. Now, it results from the upper layer of the skin pulling away from the basal layer, which eventually is responsible for the new lesion formation. Now the question arises in what condition you can see uh, this Nikolsky sign or you can say uh, in which condition or in which infection this Nikolsky sign is positive. So whenever examiner is asking you such question, they want to listen the answer that is femficus. So this Nikolsky sign, it is seen in femficus or you can say it is positive in femficus. Second, apart from femficus, epi dermolysis bullosa bullosa so these are two conditions uh, apart from this there are several other conditions where you can see this Nikolsky sign positive but when examiner is asking you this Nikolsky sign at your BDS level then they are expecting you this fem figures at least this fem figures they are expecting now coming on to the type so if your viva is going uh, really great they can ask you this especially this topic is important for pg level the types of nikolsky sign so we described it in two ways first is the marginal and the direct uh, nikolsky sign so first is marginal now in marginal there is extension of the erosion that means uh, the lesion which is eroded on the surrounding normal appearing skin by rubbing the skin surrounding the existing lesion that means surrounding the existing lesion if you just uh, put the tendential pressure what will happen it will uh, just include the surrounding area then second is direct nikolsky sign in direct nikolsky sign induction of an erosion on normally appearing skin distant from the lesion so this is direct Nikolsky sign. Now other type of Nikolsky sign is dry Nikolsky sign and wet Nikolsky sign. Now when I say wet, that means when the upper layer is removed, the base is moist or you can say the shiny surface. Okay, so the eroded base, it is found to be moist and glistening. That's why the name wet is there. And second is dry Nikolsky sign. So in dry Nikolsky sign, base of the eroded skin or oral mucosal surface, it is dry. So this is what exactly is Nikolsky sign. So short note can be asked, MCQs can be asked on Nikolsky sign that in which condition it is positive. And this topic is highly important for viva. Like examiner will generally ask from 60% of the students, what is Nikolsky sign? So you should not get confused whenever you are applying the tangential pressure on the normal appearing skin around the lesion the skin tends to slip off uh, that means that skin tend to slip off and there will be new lesion formation so this is Nikolsky sign 
broadly it could be of different type first is the marginal nikolsky sign and second is the direct nikolsky sign and other thing is wet nikolsky sign and dry nikolsky sign so this was all about the nikolsky sign just to make you clear what exactly it is uh nicole's design and one more thing it is seen generally in femfigus and epidermolysis bullosa there are several other conditions where you can see this sign but the most common condition is femfigus hope you like the class thank you